In some earlier videos, I've talked about doing some tests of uh, furnace filters. And so I'm getting started with this test. And uh, all I'm really going to do is I'm going to put these filters, these different ones, into a furnace. And I'm going to check the pressure drop of each one of these across this filter. Now this is important because many of the new filters we're using now have an awful high pressure drop. Now what that really means is it's going to cut the airflow through your furnace, which could overheat the furnace. This is true both for furnaces and air conditioners. Air conditioners tend to freeze up when they're not, uh, don't have enough air. Furnaces overheat and shut themselves off. The most common failure in a furnace is uh, overheat from lack of air, usually a plug filter. Okay, these filters, I got uh, the middle one's a basic filter, pleated type filters, these are all pleated. Uh, this is kind of a mid-range thing. Uh, this one has a MERV rating of 11. Uh, this one has a MERV rating of 5. I do explain MERV ratings uh, in another video and I'll uh, reference it here. This one has a MERV rating of 12. Okay, uh, this is supposed to be the Ultra Allergen Reduction, reduction Filter. Okay. Uh, and of course these are all 3M filters. I'm going to put these in here and test them to see just what kind of pressure drop on a new filter they have. I will leave one of these in the, uh, in the furnace and I will test it after a month and we'll see if it's changed because these things are going to change the pressure drop as they tend to fill with uh, crap because all this is is just, well, this is a piece of paper that's inside there and all that does is it's got a bunch of holes in it and it starts catching particles. So eventually they're going to plug up and uh, be worse. But I just wanted to kind of make some comparisons. I'll get other brands as I go along here and we'll test those and see how they do. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do with these things, and maybe it'll give you uh, a little better idea of what the qualities of different uh, filters are. So let's go down, and I'll uh, put these different filters in, and we'll check that pressure drop. One more thing I wanted to go over before we put these uh, filters in here and test these things. These uh, uh, 3M filters, they actually have a little notation on the side of them. One of them shows the MERV rating. The one on the right here shows the expected resistance at different CFM. Now it's important to note that, see if you had 515 CFM you'd have 0.09 pressure drop. If you had 1735 you would have 0.45 which is a tremendous difference. The higher the airflow the more the pressure drop on all these type of filters. That's just the way they work. One of the things you need to know then is what is the CFM of your furnace. Now that can be kind of confusing unless you're a professional in this business it's not going to be easy to know. However, there is one way you can get an idea. If you have an air conditioner and know the size of the air conditioner in tons you can determine what the probable CFM is in cooling. Let's say you had a uh, three ton air conditioner, then you would probably have about 1280 CFM because they will probably run about 400 CFM for every ton. It's a ballpark number, may not always be that way, but unless you, all, you know for sure that is a, that's one thing that you can use to help determine that. This is a Filtrate 1500 Ultra Allergen. So we'll see what the pressure drop of this one is with a clean filter. With this filter in, the uh, pressure drop across that filter at, at around 1200 CFM is 
0.24. Now that's pretty high considering that the total pressure on this system is a little over 0.5. So yeah, yeah, that has reduced as or restricted the airflow. Now let's try another one. Now this one is a lower efficiency one. It's kind of a mid-range. It's called the 1085 microallergen extra, whatever that means. Anyway, that's the next one in line. So we'll see what its drop is. Checking the label on this one. The other one was at 1280, was about 0 0.30. This one should be 0.29. We'll see how close this is. Remember the other one, the high efficiency filter was 0.24 in an actual test. With the medium efficiency filter in there, I'm showing a 0.26, which uh, kind of corresponds with the other one. It's uh, actually has a little bit more pressure drop I mean it's pretty tiny and probably not real not really meaningful that's for the medium efficiency pleated filter now let's take a look at the low ender here the the cheapie this one is uh, the basic pleated filter so that's uh, the least expensive now again this is a, a 3m filter and it does have the airflow, which is showing about 0.031 for 1280 CFM. These have all run pretty much the same uh, pressure drop across them, at least their rating. Let's see how this performs in the real world. With the basic filter, again, our pressure drop across this uh, filter pretty much is about the same. They're all running just a little bit lower than their, uh, their rated pressure drop, which is good. Low pressure drop is great, uh, but, well, let's kind of go over what we found. Okay, all three of these uh, 3M filters performed at least initially in their pressure drop a little bit below what they're rated for. Low being good, pressure drop. The biggest problem I see with these uh, filters so far, that low pressure drop is really pretty high. I would not want a filter that had that much drop across it. That's half of the pressure drop that you can expect for the entire ductwork system. I'm not real thrilled, but they do perform up to their specs. I'm going to leave the high efficiency one in there for a month or so and I'm going to double check that thing and I'll do another video later on um, how that's coming out and maybe I'll do the others too. In the future I'll do different brands and see what they come up with. I want to also note these were all one inch filters. Uh, I may use some thicker filters and we'll see what kind of performance we get with those in another video. So that's it on this one.